So we got some rather unfortunate news for Denver Nuggets fans. Uh, Jamal Murray has been diagnosed with a torn ACL, and he will be out for the rest of the season indefinitely. Um, yeah, this is some very bad news, Nate. So basically how this happened is he suffered his injury through non-contact injury um, in the 116-107 to 107 loss to the Golden State Warriors. Uh, this injury happened with 50.6 seconds remaining, and the Nuggets were trailing 111 to 104. Basically, he was on the uh, he was on the ground. He was like kind of punching the ground, and then Nuggets co uh, head coach Mike Malone he came over to check on Jamal Murray, and he was asking for more uh, medical assistance on the court. And when they got there, they brought out a wheelchair, but Jamal Murray declined uh, to go to sit in the wheelchair, and he ended up hopping off uh, of the court with uh, two staff members helping him off as well. Um, this year. It's really unfortunate because he's dealt with a few injuries this year, but nothing as serious as this. Um, but this year, he's had a decently productive season. He's had a 21.2 points per game, four rebounds, and 4.8 assists per game. Um, and the Nuggets have been on a roll, especially with him and Nikola Jokic and Michael Porter Jr. getting into his own. Um, the Nuggets have won their last 17 out of 20 games. And before I pass it on to you, Nate, this article is written by ESPN. So I'll start off with you, Nate. Your thoughts on Jamal Murray tearing his ACL? Yo, first of all, you know, best of luck to him in the future, you know, uh, speedy recovery, best of luck to the Denver Nuggets. Uh, this is obviously a big hit for the Denver Nuggets, you know, and if, and I'm sorry, but if you if you can't, if you don't say that this isn't a big loss for the Denver, Nug for the Denver Nuggets, then I don't know what you, I don't know what kind of basketball you're watching then. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's the other three players that you mentioned, but, you know, a lot of people believe that uh, Jamal Murray is the centerpiece of this Denver, of this Denver Nuggets team, and, Quite frankly, and I, to be honest, Mario, I think he is. But, you know, obviously, obviously, uh, ACL tears, you know, those are very, very serious. You know, like we've said many times on this show, you know, those those are one of the more serious injuries. Up, well, just like uh, Achilles tears, and I forgot the other one that we mentioned. I think it was an MCL tear or something like that. But, um, so who knows? You know, he's out indefinitely, so there's no there's no exact timeline on when he's coming back. So. I'm going to take you like I do the LeBron situation where we're just going to, you know, we're just going to speculate when he's going to come back at this point. So uh, with that being said, you know, best of luck to Jamal Murray. Hopefully he takes time to let that, uh, let that knee heal up, you know, speedy recovery and best of luck to Denver Nuggets too. Yeah. Well, first of all, best of luck to Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets. Um, we talked about this yesterday when uh, Dexter Fowler tore his ACL. We talked about how it's like one of the worst injuries to get in sports. You know, obviously that, the MCL, the Achilles, those are like, I feel like the three worst injuries to get besides like a fatal injury, like like a near death injury or like a very like paralyzing injury. Besides those, I think these injuries right here are some of the worst injuries to get in sports. Um, yeah. I mean, obviously in my opinion, Nate, like Nikola Jokic, he's in it. I think he's like, my opinion right now, I think he's the top candidate for MVP. So I think that's the centerpiece around that team. But no doubt about it, Jamal Murray is definitely like uh, he definitely complements that whole team very, very well. And especially when you've seen what he was doing in those playoffs last season, you know, it shows you how important Jamal Murray is to this team. Um, and yeah, it's really unfortunate because he is a very, very good player. You know, I've seen I've gotten I've had the honor to watch Jamal Murray do some amazing things on that court. You know, he's a very passionate player. I think he plays I think he plays very, very extremely well. I think he plays with a lot of heart and it's really unfortunate to see him go down like this, you know. Um, but again, we always talk about it, you know, unfortunately, when one player gets hurt, it's really sad, but it's the next player up, you know, it's survival mode, you know, next man up, they have to do it. Now, I'm not saying the next man up has to do what Jamal Murray has done, because frankly, that's really hard to do. But you need to do enough to help your team win. And, and Jamal Murray is a competitor, you know, despite him not actually competing on the court, he will want he, he will definitely want his Denver Nuggets team to still fight. And it, it's what they're going to do. And on the bright side of this Denver Nuggets team, Nate. They have such a talented team. They really do. Like, it's not just, you know what I'm saying? It's not just Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, and that's it. You know, they got a lot of really good players on that team. Michael Porter Jr. is coming into his own. Uh, Bol Bol, if you get, if he gets a lot of playing time, I feel like Bol Bol could do some very good things on that court. Uh, Will Barton is a very good player. You know, Torrey Craig, they got, they got so many good players on that team that I feel like they can definitely last without Jamal. They can definitely, like, you know, have a, de have a decent rest of the season without Jamal Murray. Now, obviously, when the playoffs come, is that going to be a problem? Absolutely. I can't – now I can't really see – I don't know how the Nuggets are going to get out of the playoffs. Don't get me wrong. Jokic is a very good player, but without Jamal Murray, I just can't see it happening, you know? I just can't – I just can't see the Denver Nuggets getting out of the play – getting out of the playoffs without um, 
Jamal Murray or having a successful playoff run without Jamal Murray. Because I really do feel like when the playoffs, when it's time, when it's playoff time, I really do feel like Jamal Murray is the guy to come out and shine for the Denver Nuggets. And with him not being there, I think it's really going to be an issue. But, you know, with that being said, despite despite what I think about like the Denver Nuggets and what I think about them not having Jamal Murray, regardless, I do wish Jamal Murray the best of luck. I do wish him a full recovery. And most likely he's going to be out for the rest of the season. But you know what? I can't wait to see him back on the court next season if that's possible.